With so many massive headlines in the technology world so far this month, you're bound to have missed some very interesting ones in the background. So I've trawled through Bloomberg.com to find out which stories you're most likely to have missed. Let's go. Booksellers building quantum computers and people trusting Bitcoin again. Yes, it's been an interesting month in tech news so far. Amazon is laying the groundwork for a quantum computer in some form, hiring for a quantum hardware team within its Amazon Web Services Center for Quantum Computing. This is according in part to internal job postings and a story from my colleagues Yakov Ben Mele, Giles Turner and Matt Day. They've written that a former engineer with NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory lists his title on LinkedIn as Senior Quantum Research Scientist at Amazon and describing his role as helping to design and build a quantum computer for Amazon Web Services. Amazon declined to comment. Quantum computers are very broadly what many scientists consider to be the future of data processing and will make today's supercomputers look to them how a typewriter or abacus looks to us. And although it's not a wholly surprising development for Amazon's data center division to be exploring this field, Microsoft, Google, IBM, and many others are too, I think it's worth keeping in mind that 20 years ago, this was a company that just sold books. Meanwhile, it's been an interesting time to follow Bitcoin this week. As the cryptocurrency enjoyed another surge in value, the CEO of PayPal, Dan Shulman, said he thought the pandemic this year would buoy interest in cryptocurrencies too within e-commerce. My colleague Amy Thompson wrote that Shulman had told a conference the entire world is going to come into digital first and that as shops move to accept payments via smartphones and QR codes even in stores, it would be a natural complement to digital wallets. Worth noting, I think, PayPal announced in October that its customers can buy, sell and hold cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, Ether, Bitcoin Cash and Litecoin from digital wallets, as well as use the virtual money to shop at the 26 million merchants on its network. I guess everyone who invested in Dogecoin, though, is out of luck. For more tech stories that you may otherwise miss, keep your eye on Bloomberg.com. But don't worry, I'll be doing the same and I'll be here next month with another selection for you.